Compassion uh, actually comes from uh, uh, two Latin words. I, I, I studied Latin at university. Don't ask me why. Um, the, the first word is the word for suffering, which, mean, which is patior, a P-A-T-I-O-R, uh, and it's participle passus, which means suffering. And the com part, obviously, for anyone who knows any Spanish or Italian, is with. So compassion means suffering with. So to have compassion for someone is to suffer with them what they're suffering with, whether that's pain or grief or addiction or um, poverty or uh, illness or even happiness. You can have compassion for someone's happiness, I suppose. Compassion makes me think of kindness. Um, compassion makes me think of forgiveness, of uh, of empathy. Those, yes, those are the things. Compassion is kindness, forgiveness, and empathy. Lack of judgment, care, concern. Um, weirdly, I, I have this picture of a woman smiling. I don't know, that's the first thing that comes into my head. Compassion is uh, about understanding. Um, compassion is without ego. Um, if that's possible for actors, <laughs> uh, I don't know. As an actor, uh, to have compassion as an actor is to have compassion for the characters that I play. Uh, that's what it means to me. Um, and that whatever they're going through, whatever their predicaments, um, I have to suffer with them. Um, I have to understand and I have to not judge it. Uh, I have to be forgiving of it. Uh, whether it's a, a circumstance or, or their true nature, um, to have compassion for another human being is, or to have compassion for a character is no different from having compassion for another human being. If you're playing a character, to have compassion for them is, um, is to play them honestly. And so I suppose suffering with them is to suffer their arrogance or their misogyny or their insanity. I think that's why, for example, Iago is as compelling as Romeo, because within all of us there is the capacity to be anyone or anything. And that's the place where compassion comes from, is that understanding that I could be like that if circumstances have been different. Um, there is an Iago and a Romeo within all of us. There is that lover and there is that sociopath. And so to play Romeo, you have to have compassion for his, for his predicament. He's not allowed to marry Juliet, and yes, that's, that's really infuriating um, to the point of um, rebellion and then his, his uh, you know, the, the predicament of Act Five where they're you know, in the coffin together. Um, and to have compassion for Iago is to understand that he, he's, uh, he's damaged, he's hurt. He's hurt by all the, other pe all the people in the play that he feels hurt by. And, um, and that extends to every script I read, uh, to look for, um, you know, to look for the possibility of who that person is in me. Um, and that's compassion. Yeah. That's it.